have a big problem. And how do I get the Leslie from the doctor <laughs> with the... Oh, yeah, the needle. needle. Right. Yeah, but Leslie, by the way, does not do drugs anymore. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> Wait till you see this. What? Come, the, a nurse just came and handed me something. Would you come in for a second, please? A come nurse? Here. Come here. Oh, no. Come here. No, Go into the studio. What's she hand you, a needle? Who's it, Richard Simmons dressed Richard up as a nurse? Richard Simmons has a nursing uniform. Oh, man. <laughs> and full makeup. <laughs> oh, God. Are you serious? Why? In celebration of the, the doctor who got handed the Maybe. AIDS? Maybe. I don't know. Is he Waylon Flowers' nurse or what? Oh, oh my God. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, oh, man. I'm gonna throw up. Get out of here, man. He's dressed like a woman. This, now you've gone too far. Hi. Now you've gone too How far. Are you? Now you've gone too far. Howard, Get out of here. Wait, this is what is ridiculous. wrong with all of you? Get out of your mind. With high heels on. What is wrong with all of you? Oh, Come man. here. Stand up. No. Come here. No. Come here. Get out of here. Oh, Howard. Oh, he's got nails oh, and everything. Howard. What is this? Oh. It's good to see all of you. He's dressed up in a nurse's oh, outfit and a wig. Uh, his well, nails are everybody done. Doing? Are you like in heaven now that you're dressed as a woman? <laughs> you're like. What are you talking about? What is this all about? What are you talking about? I'm here in my regular outfit. Oh, man. Look at this. Well, how are you? He's dressed in a nurse's outfit with a wig and glasses, and, and you have nail polish you know, on. What are you all about? Uh, come on. Come on. And earrings. I'm in my, you know, earrings. Look at those earrings. Like my grandmother would wear. I heard you all on this morning. You know, I was you looking at his video last night, and I was saying, I bet fun. you're Richard Simmons. I was, I was looking at his video, and I go, you know? <laughs> I said, I bet you he'd be a good-looking woman. And I said, <laughs> and the thing is, I'm you're not a good-looking woman. You have made You look like a Waylon. housewife. I'm telling you, you I got have made frightened. Fun of Waylon Flowers this it's like, morning. you know what this is like? I Love you Lucy. You have made fun of Liberace this morning. This is like I Love Lucy with a 5 o'clock shadow. <laughs> You have made fun of everybody this morning, and, and now all of a sudden I come in. Yeah. I'm here in New York City. Wait, I just lost sound. I can't hear. I'm here in New York City. Yeah. Wait, I lost my and headphones. You lost your headphones. Why are you all sitting here making fun of me? <laughs> oh, okay. Goodness. I can't believe. What was with the nurses out? We opened the door, you? Howard. I almost screamed, oh, and then God. I realized that oh, ugly Howard woman is. was Richard oh. Simmons. <laughs> How are you oh, doing? Man, I don't believe it. Uh, what are you doing? Where the hell's my uh, jingles? Howard? Yeah? How are you doing? Hold on, I'm trying to get lined up for you. Now, okay. you have How did you get here? Yeah, that's what I want to know. What? How did you get here with that outfit on? I walked here. <laughs> no, I can hear her right here. Hi, Robin. How you doing? How are you? What is, why are you so wearing so a nurse's beautiful. outfit? Howard. Howard, I walked in here. I have just come back from a wonderful yesterday and today in New York. I have no idea what you're talking He's about. He's got a beehive wig. <laughs> Could you take the wig off? And do me a favor. This is my actual hair. Oh, man. <laughs> what do you think of that? I think you all are being so rude to everyone today, and I think you owe a lot of people an apology. Now, who is that guy with the song? What song? Oh, John, John yeah. I, who is he? <laughs> to him, we don't have to apologize. Do you want to talk to him? Where is he? Stuttering John, come in here. What is that a stuttering thing about? What does that psychologically say about a man who stutters? Well, he, he could have had some problems as a child. With a king in his bed? No, where is he? Is he here? Hey, Stuttering John, come in. Richard wants to talk to you about your stupid song. So what's new? What's that? <laughs> what's that stuff you're putting Hi, on? Hi, was that your song? Yeah. You know, he really He's he taking really off his makeup. Hard. The guy really did try hard. <laughs> and I think you owe him an apology. Oh, what? Richard! Get out of here. But he was with, calling Howard names! You boy and coon? <laughs> oh, man. Well, it's about time someone does call you names, Howard. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Actually, let me just say about John stuttering. I don't mean to make fun. John had a horrible accident as a child that caused him to stutter. A chandelier fell on his shoulder. Oh. And, uh, <laughs> Wait a second now. Hold it. I'm just kidding. No, I'm sitting here. <laughs> I'm kidding. Sit down over there. I'm sitting here watching Richard Simmons yeah. take off makeup. What? Yeah. what was the point? Did you dress up like a nurse just to shock us? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I walk. You have picked. Has he picked on you today? Come here. How many hours did you put in that song? Don't kiss him, John. Just. Oh. <laughs> just you put eight hours, and you came in here. And worked so hard, and they gave you. <laughs> You're so much. 
You know, you are so much better looking as a man. Get out of here, John. You're so much better looking as a man, Richard. Don't ever dress up like a woman again, Richard. You're so much better looking as a man. I want you to call two people for me this morning. All right, we have a bunch of things to do. Number one, you have a new video out. I want to promote that. Did you wait? Now, let me ask you a question. Did I watch let it? Me yes. Ask you, wait. Let me ask you a question. Robin, anything, like, in yes. my life. I sent you a tape. I didn't get it. And I sent Howard a tape. Well, I got mine. Did you watch it? Yes, I watched it yesterday. I saw the commercials on television, but I didn't... Did you like it? Oh, of course. I love you the know, commercials. You know, it's funny because, really, there's a lot of women, and they can call in right now. Look, and... wait let's be honest. If you've been turned off by look-alike exercise videos with... <laughs> wait, wait a second. <laughs> Sit down, will you? Every well, time I, I say something... Be... Wait a minute. Hot. Let me ask you a couple... <laughs> Give me the... Let me ask you a couple questions. Did you really see it? Yes. He was the last thing. It's open. It is, too. Oh, I watched okay. the whole thing. So, what did you think? There were three broads in there I really dug. No, wait. Let's not talk about sex right now. Let's talk I thought it was about kind of interesting. It was Richard exercise. Simmons' dance party. I saw them waving their gone? arms. Is that exercise? Yeah, I didn't know that waving your arm up and down was exercise. I mean, do fat is that all fat people are capable of doing? <laughs> Richard, right, Richard, sit down. Come, come, on, on, come on, come on. Sit down. You know you want to. Low impact aerobics. You're not kidding. You're damn right. right. It, you didn't do it. It's Who was that designed for? Waylon Flowers, this video? Oh, Come on, it takes. I mean, you need some, a little more energy in this. How is he, anyway? Are you, you a friend of his? Uh, I met him once. He was very nice. Yeah, he is a nice guy. Yeah, he is. We, we know said him nice too. stuff about you him. You said horrible things about him. What? And you should apologize. There was one woman on your video. Yeah, which one? Uh, the yeah. one the size of Oprah Winfrey. The one who looked oh. like, I thought it was Roosevelt Greer. Well, you know why I'm in town? We yeah. had a party. Now listen to this. Yeah. Yeah. I got an invite okay, to this. I know deep down in your heart. Deep down, all that mud and dirt and horror is the heart that beats. And in why Brooklyn did you dress up like time. a nurse? And why do you have like tons of makeup and like Brooklyn stuff to remove I'm it? Sitting here. Do you dress up like a nurse know, a lot? I, I don't know why you make I mean, fun it's of me. Like you he made has fun to work on. He has all the morning. equipment. Don't you have a feeling that he off. owns all yeah. this equipment? Like, like, yeah. like, look at this. He has like even like prosthesis on his face, like like different rubber pieces oh, and yeah. stuff. Shut up, Howard! <laughs> I mean, you make up. No one's even gonna believe you. When you dress up like a woman, no one is gonna believe you. I mean, you got like. Richard, those shoes fit. How often do you find a woman's shoes in bed of my video? Did you see? Did you see like? His big broad feet and, did you and notice, those. Did you, you see, see the jewelry? He has a wedding band yeah. and an Howard. engagement ring that fit. Yeah. Do you have like a nurse's wedding band? <laughs> <laughs> if, he ta- if he takes off a plastic vagina, I'm gonna faint. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you right now. All right, wait a second. No, oh. wait a minute. What about the nails? Let me see. Oh, wait a minute. Don't show me your crotch. I don't want to see Howard, that. Howard, you have made up so much this morning, and you are not only Waylon Flowers. No, let me just tell and you I, something. I thought that I would get dressed up and come in as a nurse. People Stop out there. Stop that! All right. People know that I would never do that. They know you Wait, made the let entire me see that. thing up. Shut up. They made the entire thing up. All right. <laughs> And you made fun of everybody right. this morning. No, and now you're going to start looking at the no, phone. No, what we're going to do, what we're going to do, do is... what we should do? No, we have a... Wait a minute, what is this party? He was about that? to talk oh, about last party. Oh, i got to tell you about this. Listen to this party. Please, this is this means a whole lot to me. Is that your fantasy to be a nurse? <laughs> oh, shut <laughs> up. I come <laughs> in here in the outfit. I always come in here. You you make fun of me. You make fun of Waylon. You make fun of Liberace. You make fun of that guy. Eight hours who worked on that song. You should hang your head during this Jewish no, holiday. No, let, let me say something. Hang your head, Howard Stern. Let me say something. H.S. Someone said to me yesterday at this Brooklyn party, what is Howard Stern really like? Tell them. And I said, well, you know, to be perfectly honest... <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> I said, he really is a very nice, kind, sensitive, warm person, except he lies a lot. Right. <laughs> and that's true. That's true. In Brooklyn. You've nailed it on the head. In Brooklyn. See, I call, we call 700 overweight people a week. Call right. them on the phone and say, you know, Mary, how are you doing? Right. How much have you lost? Uh, you know, any temptations? Give them some positive motivation. Never mind that. I call all these people, and we had a party for them last night. Like you would have a party for your listeners. Listen to this. He went to Brooklyn we to went like to a, Brooklyn. one of his fat people's uh, Stop it. homes. Homes? It was and anybody's he, home? And he threw like a big party. I was invited, but except I got my invite too late. Oh, Howard, I might that's actually not true. I put it in the mail, and everybody was disappointed. And Joan Hamburg You want to know why? Up. Joan Kirk. Hamburg, that old bat. That oh, old bat. Oh, my God. That's what you look like when you walk oh, in. You look like Joan Hamburg in a nurse's <laughs> outfit. <laughs> What'd you borrow her jewelry? Oh, God. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Rosemary Carnival. Do you really like Joan Hamburg? I mean, do you like hang with her? I no, he doesn't. Do you know what she said? I'm going to tell you. There's no way you I'm guys have stuff in common. Fat lip what she said. <laughs> Go ahead. Joan Hamburg, I, went, I did her show yesterday, and she said, I was very disappointed I turned on Howard Stern, mm. and you weren't on. Right. And I said, I'll be on Friday morning. And she said, I listen, to every, I listen to him every single morning. I adore the guy. Now, when I go mm. back to WOR, as I will. <laughs> You'll sell a lot of tapes. <laughs> no, 
she she's she's a lovely lady. Oh. She has done a lot for the city. She's very community oriented. Really? She raises a lot of money. She brings a lot of information. She brings a lot of guests in. But she must she's be real nice good. to you. What she braid her mustache and uh... Oh stop it! You've All right, met, listen, listen, You've listen. met Joan Hamburg. No, I've never met her. You've never met her? Never met the woman. I think you should do her show. I yeah, think, right. And she said, and how I'll go on that? another radio show. And she <laughs> said, if I don't get enough of radio, <laughs> I'll said, be on for four hours and I'll go do the Joan Hamburg show. She said, how is that lovely Robin? Yeah. Oh, sure. Oh, sure. She did, I swear. <laughs> All right, did she give you the idea for the nurse's outfit? You really do look like Joan Hamburg oh, when yeah. you're dressed like that. I'm tired of it. That All was right. one of her wigs, was it? When we come back, I want to take a commercial break. When we come back, I have pulled clips from the new videotape. Yes, because I want to say... There's very little talking on it. Richard is very sincere. Where did you get this new music, Richard. We gotta I bought talk it. About that. I bought it. Okay. It, interesting selections, too. <laughs> Will you do me a favor? Yeah. Now, promise me this, because you've lied all morning. I love to exercise to the hokey pokey. <laughs> <laughs> Put your right foot in. <laughs> Who's the, no, come Richard, on, come sit on. Down, Just sit, sit down. Sit you down. need the constructive it. criticism. <laughs> <laughs> all right. If I'm leaving. We'll be back. I come in here, you call me a nurse, and you make up all of these things. This is ridiculous. What I'm size leaving. are those? What size are those? I'm heels? leaving. My, my Nike shoes? Yeah. My Nike shoes are a size 8. All right, we'll be back. I've had it. I've I, had it. I love a man in a size 8 heel. <laughs> Where do you go to, like, one of those special uh, shop, transsexual shops to get those shoes? Why am I... First of all, I have to ask myself the question. I mean, because there's a lot of people listening. Why am I putting myself through the idea that you all made all of this up? All right, it we'll be back. Ridiculous. We'll be back right after this. Come on. Leave Listen me alone. Leave me alone, Howard. Leave me alone. Yours. All right, we're back. United you know, Richard must... Photocopy, United Photocopy, we take the original and make a copy. Ooh. What do you do? What do you do? You, do you come right over here from exercising? Ooh. <laughs> ooh. 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 Yeah, okay, I'll say ooh. <laughs> he wants me to join in with him. Uh, He's making up a song. He's come making on. up an original song, and he wants me to join in with him. <laughs> Um, Richard, yeah. what do you do? You exercise. First of all, do you exercise Robin, before you come to the show? Rob, yes, I did. Because I, you got to take a shower before you come here. Let it rain, let it. Did you smell his pits? Stop it! He Stop hugged it. me. I stink. This is eternity. Bloomingdale's will die. Calvin Klein's eternity. Eternity? You're still in That is not eternity. And did you love eternity? Me? That's old. Like that's old. Skunk boy. <laughs> Anyway, let me tell you about United Photocopy. Yes. Attention business owners and office managers. Is your copier constantly broken down, costing you costing you wasted work hours? Yes. Maybe your copier just makes lousy copies. And how much do you spend on Federal Express a month? Save time and money with the all-new Mita facsimile and telecopier. You must have a fax a machine. What is that? Oh, that was that song, Julianne. Stop complaining and stop suffering. Only man left who knows Julie Andrews' music. Yeah. He probably put her in his music. What is this? Is this a copy? You machine? like Judy Garland also? Some wet. Peter some Allen, wet, Judy Garland. Uh, I... Oh, he can't wait for Legs Diamond to open up. Right. You know what I really That is going to be a like. fabulous show. Like. Legs Diamond. No, like Peter it. Allen is coming Stop to Broadway. It. Thank it's God. Very good. Mm. <laughs> I'll tell you. I'll tell you who I did like. I think Peter Allen's just going to be good. <laughs> I know you do. He's happy and up and bubbly, and I think it's <laughs> Get with it, will you, pal? and everything that you should have, and look and go at theater that's happy. You know how many people commit suicide after Les Miserables? I bet you're they good. I bet, the street and kill themselves. I bet you're good in bed. Oh, yes, I'm good in bed. I was watching that video. I was watching that video. What? I was watching that video. Yeah. And, uh... You got the idea he was good in bed? Yeah, I think he moves pretty good. Robin, I was going to ask you... first of all, I want an apology. Wait a minute. Do you like... like would you... I walk in here... How long can you I hold exercise. out in bed? I'm running... How long can you hold short, out? And I'm Two running. hours? <laughs> <laughs> I'm running in Central Park. I come in here, and you, and you call me names. You, you say that I'm... All right, all right. I, I, I will help you. All right. Tell me if I can really work up a sweat to this uh, aerobic statement. No, let me just say, let, let me finish this commercial. I'm going to say something nice about your video. Because no, wait a I, minute. I have a nice w- thought about no, it. No, no, wait. Hold I, it, want, it, hold I want an apology. No, you're going to get it. There's going to be no United Copy. You are going to get it. That, don't do it. Don't. You stupid. <laughs> what do you think of that? Stop. What? Wait, wait a second. No. Give me that tape. Give it to me. Because that's a new one. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Oh, please. Give it to me now. Give it to me now. Give it to me now. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't break that. Come on, hey. Hey, give that back. Just hold it then. It's fine. <laughs> don't put it down your pants. Oh, no. 
Well, I was going to say, done. he is very endowed. Yes, he is. <laughs> let's, let's do the copy. Let's do the copy. All right, now let's get to... Um, let's Back, give me that tape. I gave it to you. It's another one. Give it to me, Howard. <laughs> Howard, I'm not kidding. I gave it to Jackie. No, no, just stay. Just no, stay. I can't. Can't. All right. Jackie, Come in here, you make... Yeah, here. Give it to me. Thank you. Right. Can we finish this 90-minute photocopier machine? Do you know what a fax machine is? They are their best. Yeah? Oh, it's great. You, you know what a fax machine is? They always break down. They do not at all. Matter of fact, this morning on CNN... You better apologize to him. <laughs> matter of fact, this morning on CNN... No, 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 no. Come on. It. Tell the truth. Yeah, no, tell the truth. Apology. I apologize. Oh, tell the truth about the fax machine. No, that's why you have United Photocopy, the because if they do break down, CNN they don't. Last Get out of no, here, No, he said he apologized. I didn't hear it. No, I did. I, let me hear it. Oh, God. Let me hear it. Mm. I don't... Oh, Give me that tape. Oh, give it I've got a hundred of them. Howard, I, I want an apology right now. All right, now listen to me. Howard, what? I'm not kidding. I'm not apology kidding. Apologize for what? Mother, daughter, mother, daughter. Faye done away in Chinatown. <laughs> I want an apology. I came in How here. How often did Waylon Flowers dress as a nurse? <sighs> That's what I want to know. I am so, first of all, what? I am hurt. Let me just say something. Let me just finish this commercial. <laughs> an authorized United Photo this Facsimile morning on and CNN. Copy Machine. No, 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 come Every on. I apologize. I apologize. What? Business you apologize years. for what? For whatever it is you're Every upset about, you nut. Every What's the matter with you, Richard? I love you. <laughs> now, just calm down. Let me get through this. We, we have a you're lot the of, kind of parent. We have an agenda. You're the kind of parent that can make a child grow up and stutter. Oh. Ooh. My kid does not stutter. I, well, let's call him. Who? Your kid. My kid's five years old. Well, in at kindergarten. five, you'll know if they're stuttering. Let's call her at kindergarten <laughs> right now, and let's do a little intimate moment into the life of the father-daughter relationship. Of if my kid Stern. stutters, watch this. Go ahead. <laughs> Who are you calling? I'm calling my kid. No, at kindergarten? No, no, no. She leaves on the bus soon. She's not there yet. Oh, that reminds me of that sad song. What? Song. I'm leaving. <laughs> Is she coming? Is she really? Is she, will she answer the phone? She won't answer. My wife will answer the phone. She'll go, hello? Oh, stop it. My wife is never has a voice in the, in the morning. Really? Never. Where is she? This is the second. Hello? Honey? Hi. Hi. Hi, Richard. How are you? I, I walked in here in a, in a little tank top and a pair of shorts. Mm -hmm. Allison. They, they made fun of me. Allison, they just They called me a nurse. I mean, put, look great. Put Emily on the phone. She's waiting at the school bus. Oh, she's already at the school bus? Yeah. Mm. Oh, I was just calling to say good morning to your good. beautiful daughter. Uh, and to you. How are you, Mrs. Stern? At least my daughter isn't overweight. Do you want to talk to at least I, at least At least my kid isn't so disordered that she doesn't stuff Who's her. Who's Deborah? Deborah's my other daughter. You have two? Yeah. Oh, put Deborah on the phone. There's only two. You can't tell anything. Is she two? Yeah. Deborah! Let me get her. Hold Deborah! Oh, She's going to be deaf after this. <laughs> she can't hear anymore. All right, anyway, this wait, facsimile. Wait, Deborah. Oh, boy. United Photocopy, what they do Deborah? is they lease a copier or a facsimile system for as little as $39 Hi, a month from United Photocopy. You see, if you want to lease, you see, what Richard's saying could be true. Let's say you have problems. If you lease a photocopy yeah. machine or no, a facsimile. No, they were talking about the no, leased no. fax machine. Oh, they CNN were not. Morning. Now, stop no, they that. weren't. I see. <laughs> I swear, I promise I watch CNN every day. I know headline news backwards and forwards. All right, now. Deborah. Hi. Hi, Hi De Deb. Oh, Deborah's here. De Deborah. Hi, Deborah. Hi. Why don't you just yell out the window, oh, Richard? Oh, she's so cute? Deborah's daddy. It's daddy, Deborah. Not you, Richard. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Not in that nurse's uniform, anyway. You apologize. Deborah? Deborah, sing are you there? Deborah, sing one of your songs for daddy. Giving kisses. Tell oh. her to sing a song. I'm going to cry. She stutters. Oh, stop that, well, Richard. No, Howard. Cute. Howard, I love be you. Be quiet, Richard. That's not funny. Howard, Howard, she stutters. And you wear women's underpants. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, Deborah? I'm playing Barbies. You're playing with your Barbies? Oh God! I had fifty Barbies. <laughs> I know. <Richard. laughs> no, I had I had one Barbie. Deborah, someday, I had, someday, I had when Richard Deborah was someday when Richard Simmons gets married, you can play with Richard's children. Yes. All right. That would be a very nice. That would be thought. nice. Have your kids and we could use over. the same kind of initial things because we both have the last name that's it. Bye bye. Bye bye. Honey, we gotta go. Deborah. Let's do. Oh, I love you. I love you, Deborah. This is a new, a new element. A new element. I am so emotional.
I'm turning off his mic. I'm telling you, you don't need a mic on him. Bye, Deb. Bye, bye. I love you. Have a good day. Bye, Deb. <laughs> it's really cute. My um. Oh dear. My sister-in-law was over. Uh huh. And she said to uh, Emily, "God, I wish I." They were playing with Barbie. She said, "Yeah, I wish I had a body like Barbie's." Like Barbie's body? Yeah, yeah. And Emily said, no, you don't, because her arms come off. <laughs> See? My kid's, my kid's got a sense of humor. Yeah. yeah, practical. <laughs> anyway, what you want to do is lease your photocopy and your fax machines for as little as $39 a month from United Photocopy. $39? Let me call. Our... No, you're reading it wrong. Let me see it. Let me see it. Dial 212 copiers. How do you spell copiers, <laughs> Richard? <laughs> 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 Howard, he's destroying the studio. Howard, it can't be thirty nine ninety five. Come here, let me it's see. Like Leonard it. Skinner to women's clothing. Oh, Come here. Now listen, listen to me. Let me see it. Richard. I want to see if it's thirty nine ninety five. It is. Let me 212 see. Two one two copiers. Spell copiers. Look at me. No. C O P I E R S. Or one eight or one eight hundred eight 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 Mida M I T A. Mida. Mida. You say Mita, <laughs> I say Mita. Let me see, because it can't be 39. For every the, copier you purchase, you'll receive a free the, car from, from United Photocopy. In the provided, LA Times this morning, it said Provided by, provided, provided by Mobiltel. I, I, I apologize to the sponsor. Howard, I'll, I'll do a better job than next time. You're a new sponsor, Howard. Yes. Howard, Howard, let me just see if it said 39. No, just get out of here. Your people can't <laughs> lease copies. Name again, so all, your, all the fatsos you help with your videotapes can't lease copies because they'd eat them. So <laughs> they Horace, cannot call in. Horace, say what? you're sorry. Say, I'm not sorry. You are sorry. No, I'm not you sorry. You are sorry. Oh, no. This is the new one, huh? Yeah, you like This is the new one to get under my skin. This right. is the new one to aggravate me. Oh, do you like this? <clears throat> Wait, I got a great idea. Hold it. Let's put your daughter back on Listen and let's this. play this for Deborah. It's not... <laughs> you like that? Go pick your socks. Oh, so oh, oh, Robin. <laughs> oh, now that is so Catholic school disgusting. Oh, man. <laughs> Howard. Mm. Howard, come here. Look at me. I know you want to play with these little things, but I, I have I have business. First of all, let me just say something. Before yes. we get to your business, I want to say something nice about your videotape. I want to play a clip from your videotape, and please allow me the pleasure to do this in front of you. Hold video. it. I'm going to tell you why. There are two points in the tape where you do talk. It's a little motivational thing where you take pulse. Remember? I did watch the uh, videotape. To see if they have one? Richard has a very <laughs> responsible... <laughs> Richard has a very... To see if Richard has a pulse. <laughs> See if, um, no, no, just sit down. I'm going to say something very nice about your videotape. You're going to want to hear this. When? Let me right now. I'll be a corpse. <laughs> Richard has put out a videotape called Richard Simmons Sweating to the Oldies because he doesn't have enough money. He needs to put out a new tape. Oh, oh, so, God, oh, God, oh, God. So what he does is once in a while he throws a party at some fat person's home to look, make him look philanthropic, right. and then he releases the videotape. But, okay, let me just but say let something. Me tell you. Hold it. I was just Howard, kidding. I'm just kidding. That's it. No, 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 no you're not. I've got something nice to say. I've got something nice to say. Hold it. I can't take it. <laughs> Hold it. Yes, you can. Now, listen to me. Richard Simmons sweating to the oldies. It's it's really a tape for, for very fat people. No, it's not. It's no, not for very fat. It's for old people. No, it's for everybody. It's not for a young you person. You mean I could use if, this tape and get an aerobic workout? If you use Actually, this tape. Actually, I tried to do it along with Richard. Uh, it is hard. It, yeah. I know it looks easy, but it is hard. If you do this tape, you will get 20... Four minutes of low impact aerobic, which will burn in that class about 300 to 350 calories. Really? And that is uh, a may real I play a clip? safe, low. Howard. May I play a real Howard, clip from the. Howard, there are sacred things you don't deal with. You Please. don't deal with the Ten Commandments. Let me tell you something. You don't deal Let me tell you something, Robin. You get more exercise putting this tape in the machine. That's the no, 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 I'm just kidding. I'm kidding, Richard. Richard. Sit down. Richard, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Sit down and listen to this tape because it's a tape of Richard Simmons <laughs> on his exercise video. Stop it. Freddie, are these the tapes I'm looking for? The carts? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. The Sit down, Richard. The real to real? Turn the lights back on. I don't know which one. I can't see it. I think it's real. The ones you were doing in the studio before. The ones you had. Oh, okay. Real to real. I just because I don't want you mad at me. I could be doing Scott Shannon. Oh. Go ahead. He'd be fun to do. <laughs> he wouldn't make fun of me coming in as a nurse. If I you do, if my... you do Scott Shannon, would you wear that nurse's outfit? Stop it! You just apologized for that, Robin. Right, would you help me out? <laughs> One of the things Richard Simmons has done is put together a video, and everyone says, "Well, let's hear a clip." When people come on TV shows, they get a clip. Let us hear a, clip. Hear a clip. It is an excellent video. You can hear him. You know what? You know what? You know what? May I please? I'm going to die. I, I can't Would you, could you be quiet for two minutes and let me play a clip? Do you think that's possible? Okay. Let me do this. <clears throat> Thank you. 
And most importantly, it lowers the level of self-respect and self-esteem you should have for yourself. What, Listen, Fat Sally, if you're overweight right this very minute, Lard Blood, don't you think it's time to oh, What did you do to that tape? Piece of trash. <laughs> Dealing what with you do to that tape? a brand new weight loss program that has been tested with hundreds of people for the best results I've ever seen. Well, what do you think of that? I am in shock! Well, let me hear this. Don't you... Whoa. No, I have real... <laughs> Be careful. Cut it Howard. out. What? Howard, no, that is sacred. Howard, that is sacred. That is not my tape. Sit down. Yeah. Give me that. Howard. What? Howard. Whatever you're doing. Ow. You dick. Ow. Howard. Ow. Howard, I'll, 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 I'll give it to you. Let me see. I'll no, I'm not letting go of your finger. Give it to you. Stand up. Yeah. Howard. Ah! Howard, stand up. Get the tape, Howard. Get it. Hand, hand it to me, Howard. No, come on. I see it. Take it off the machine. No, I'm not letting go of it. No, it's not. I have it here. Is this the tape? Is this the tape? Yes. Well, get it off the machine. All right, let go of my hand. You maniac. No, it's this one, it right here. One. It is this one, here. Now, just pick it up. There. Now. <laughs> oh, boy. In my lifetime. <laughs> guys, this this is sacred. To give you a general idea of how much you were overweight. What is this How much you tape. should be kind of wearing <laughs> and what you're working towards. <laughs> we're just kidding, of course. Of course. <laughs> Howard. You almost broke my finger. I know. A nut. Howard. You're a nut. Howard, apologize for, for what? For what? You what, we had some fun with your tape? And we put some things on it? Yes. Now, that wasn't Look, nice. Uh, let me tell you, I'll say something nice about your tape. No, you won't. You don't have to. No, no, I'll say something nice about his tape. Say it. This is, you sound much better than you do in those dealer meal commercials where you're going, yes, Jan, tell us how much you've lost. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's his dealer meal tape. <laughs> Oh, Richard. No, on the uh, oh, deal meal I'll cut it out, Richard. No, I heard he sold 50 zillion deal meals and is absolutely rolling in dough. How much money do you have? And when are you going to give us some money? Give us some money. Come on, make us rich, too. Put us in your aerobics tape. I bet you like a little cadre of friends that hang around waiting for money from you. I was going to... What? To take your name and do the Howard Stern Institute. Uh, I just want the cash right off the bat. <laughs> Come on, I'm a good friend. How can you say you're a good friend when you... I mean, Just make me wealthy, and then I'll be off the radio, and you won't have to, uh... That wasn't even for my, my exercise tape. No, the exercise no. tape is wonderful. It is wonderful. As a matter of fact, low let me just say, it's fun. low impact. You and know what you it is? you can only get that by calling what number? <laughs> let me I'm say something, I, Richard. I didn't come here to sell tapes. My, I came here Can I say something? My knee... Can I say something nice? My knee has been bothered. My knee has and been bothering me, and I'm telling you that yeah. this tape, at least I won't hurt my and knee. And listen to the songs that are on it. The songs that we can relate to. <laughs> Maybe you can. <laughs> What are the songs? Name some of the songs. All right, let's see. Dancing in the Streets. All right. Okay, that's a nice song. Uh, that's it. Oh, oh here it is. Oh, shit. Howard. <laughs> Howard. <laughs> here, give me that box. Wipe Howard, out. Howard, give me that box. Wipe out. Give me the box. Give me the box. Give me the box. <laughs> Wipe out. Howard. Ain't no mountain high enough. Give me the box. Don't you love when they're in a rush Howard, like that? give me the box. Mountain high, high enough. Isn't that a great song? You, you should see. <laughs> He doesn't even say anything, though. People just dance around him. I like it. Did you watch the end of the videotape? At the end, all the fat people Stop it. Oh, dance. Jump on you ever see on Soul Train? <laughs> you ever see on Soul Train? They do a big... Howard, line. you can make fun of me, you but You know how like, everybody lines dare. up on the Howard, sides? Howard, listen to me. And then everybody don't dances. Don't you dare make fun of overweight people. Don't you dare. You know that's sacred with me. Sacred. S-A something or other. <laughs> it's sacred with me. All right, why don't we take a break and then do some phone calls? We'll no, I didn't even finish the news. Richard, I you did the news. Look, look, Howard, yeah. I w there's two people. I can't believe you just said, give me the box 900 <laughs> times. I've never heard you say that before. Stop <laughs> it. The first time I've ever heard that out of your mouth. Give me the box, give me the box, give me the box. <laughs> You're all right. Listen to me. Yeah. Rosemary Carnamola that has lost one. over is that the one you want? over 600 pounds. Oh, really? Michael Habronco. What is it? Does all the like, skin, over like, does the skin hang, though? I want you to make up for the little rotten, the little when you rotten, lose 600 spoiled pounds. brat that you are. 
I want you to call these two people I will. today and congratulate well, really? them on the air. I mean it, Howard. Call Rosemary. You could talk about you can talk about my video. Thirty nine ninety five one eight hundred. No, you oh, can talk about my video. One eight hundred what? It's a gr I would never. One eight hundred Richard Simmons. No. What? Oh, shoot. <laughs> what do you? No. You just wish, Howard. I'm going to say something, and I wasn't going to say it. I was going to hold it back, but I can't anymore. You just wish. That your video would have done one tenth of what that video. That is done. correct. That is correct. So putting down success is something that I'm jealous. Other, no, you should never be jealous. You have this empire. All right, listen, we'll be back There's right after these words. There's construction workers listening. Oh, There's Cam people okay. walking. Can't tell. Yeah, oh. this is good for you, Richard. That was in CNN too. All right, Richard. There's yeah, a, I have a script here. Do you want to be Robin yeah. or do you want to be Howard? I'll be. I think you want to be, be Robin. I'll be Howard. All right. You want to be, be Howard? Yeah, I want to be Howard. <laughs> Right? You, and read it seriously. You have to do it exactly. And do it exactly what's on the script. See if you can do that. How's your movie, by the way? Aren't you doing a movie with Jim J. Bullock? Yeah. How's that coming out? <laughs> no, are you really doing a movie with Jim J. Bullock? <clears throat> you know how, did you yeah. ever see Airplane? Did you ever yeah, see the movie Airplane? Yeah. It was a takeoff on all the disaster films. I can't wait to see this movie. We're doing, uh... we're doing a takeoff on all the macho Rambo, Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's about three buyers from Bloomingdale's. Hey, you know, I haven't seen you in a while, but I called you when I was out in Los Angeles. I taped Hollywood Squares. I know. They told me they, they had That's you That's why on. I was calling you. The, I, and you were supposed to be in the square next to me. And they had you on. They said they really enjoyed having you on once. Oh, really? Did they say that? Did you didn't have me again? No more. That was it. Why? Because Richard told us. No, they asked, they asked, you know, I asked him well, how, what kind of a guest you were and were you funny? And well, how, come the, how come that lion skunk of a producer came up to me and said, gee, I want you on a lot more? So, so he said to me, well, Richard, what do you think? And I said, well, you know, I really like Harry. And then he showed me a piece of the show. Yeah. Yeah. Remember Camtel, the company? Wait a minute. Listen, what are you trying to say? Well, what's the matter? Because I didn't act like one of those retarded dicks that are on that uh, stupid show every night? Because, because that was you didn't myself. have a blender in his square. Remember, yeah, oh yeah, I didn't have a blender with Company fruit in it. that specializes in business videos. Can you turn into a real skunk? <laughs> now tell me what happened over at Hollywood Squares. We'll tell you right after this commercial. What a Howard, dick you are. What did you say? You turn into a dick, you know no, that? No, you take my video. You change oh, it. Man. You put words in it. You, well, you know I'm insecure. And all of a sudden now, I, I am Darth Vader. <laughs> You know, that's really funny. That's really funny. All right, let's do this script, and then we're going to talk about Hollywood Squares. You don't want to talk about Hollywood Squares, please. No, I, I do. I can't. No, I, what do you think? I called you up while I was out there. I don't care if I'm ever on that show again, but the point yes, is... Yes, you do. I was on Letterman you know, crashing it. Oh, wait, wait, let me see. I go on Letterman, pal, oh, wait, because I'm hip. There's a trophy or Not a like you. I don't go here. on these shows and sit there and kiss ass everybody with oh. Jaja Gabor. Princess Jaja Gabor can eat me, okay? Oh, oh that's nice. That's nice. right. Let's, let's get Debbie on the phone. Deborah, let's get your wife in the kitchen. Why Princess... Deborah. Princess. Who are you, Countess Richard Simmons? Huh? What is this, Princess Zsa, Zsa Gabor? <laughs> I see that I must have hit a real bad dental nerve. No, I'm saying, what the hell is this, the guy? I mean, what is the guy telling you that he doesn't was, want me on? Oh, what is that? Really is that his way of proving his manhood? I was trying to bite my tongue. Let him tell me to my face, that stupid roach face. <laughs> and you saw it, what did you think? <laughs> what did you think of me on uh, Hollywood Squares? I, I wasn't great. I think we got to do this commercial, guys. <laughs> what a dick you are. <laughs> what? Me, yeah, me. You. I want to apologize for you trying to fix my video, and I want to right, apologize. Wait a Let's do Cam Tell, and we come back and talk about this. And I don't want you to talk about it during the commercial. I won't Hollywood Squares. Okay. You be Howard. I'll be Robin. Remember Cam Tell, the company that specializes in business videos. That's just how I'd read it, like a nurse. Well, they sent Robin and me a video. Did you get a chance to watch it, Robin? Yeah, it was very entertaining. Uh, Howard. Well, Hollywood Squares, this tape shows what Let me Cam tell you what Cam does. Does. Richard's watching this. Right. Let me tell you. I what. was impressed. This is a movie. Is this is how you act in that this is deal a meal. largest companies in the United States. Come on, it's your This line. is how you do deal a meal. <laughs> it's come on, come on. Read it like play, you Robin. do deal a meal. I'll read it like that. But Camtel also works with mid sized companies you know, who are looking for girls. Call for music, Jim Jay Boy. That's yeah. what'll help. Richard Simmons. Jill St. John. You know what Camtel does? They you have a company. You know you hurt my finger. And you hurt my heart. And you hurt my wiener. Oh, stop you it. You punched me in it. And I, and I did not. <laughs> you did, too. No, I did not. Oh, you did. If I did, it's because I just turned quickly and you're so tall. All right, now listen to me. <laughs> Trish Seaman here in the commercial. He pulls on his pants to Robin and grabs her breath. I'm oh, running, chasing me. I am, I've got look, a broken look, 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 leg. I am so... First you call me a nurse. What, do you have to whip it out every first, time you're in here? First you call me a nurse. I'm then all of a sudden you take my anyway. tape and you splice it and say dirty words in it. What is that t-shirt? 
Just he has underwear. That was underpants. That was underpants? Was panties. That's a G-string. He's <laughs> wearing a G-string. Why, you know, people say to me sometimes, why do you do Howard Stern, Richard? Tell video And I say because it is a life challenge. Richard. It is like, it is like, it really, it is, it, it's a life challenge. What is people that T-shirt me, you're wearing? Somebody said to me last night, what? I, I, my son said he heard you on the Howard Stern show. All right, Stern anyway, show. Cam Tell. And I said, I love doing Howard Stern show. And she goes, well, I would never. How could you do? And I, I'm always there. Time. I'm always there like the, Joan of Arc. Did we tell you you're the best guest ever? Do we tell you we let we you in you? here more than anyone else? Do you realize you have a whole new following as a result of appearing on this show? That people enjoy your appearances on this show? That's and right. People who never thought of you as you're a. You're the best guest? I want to call Rosemary and Michael. All right, we will in a minute. You Let promise. me get through a camp. I got a lot this of commercials. This is the longest commercial. It's like <laughs> you broke my finger. By Jerry the way. Lewis is going to be here any moment with the tote board. What is this? It's so it is so long. Making fun of muscular dystrophy no, now. No, I gave huh? money to muscular dystrophy, and I love the telethon. <laughs> right. <laughs> I did. Did you see Sammy do uh, Phantom of the Opera? The Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> did you like? Did you like how he, when he went into his grotesque face, he turned? Like, he doesn't have a grotesque enough face. He turned his back to the uh, camera, and then he he contorted. Instead of his mouth contorting to the right, he contorted it to the left. I, I watched it yesterday three yes. times, Sammy oh, really? doing Phantom of the Opera. And how Cantel is unique in the way they'll do a story. Cantel is a company that will create a video for you. In other words, if you have a sales problem, if you have a training program. Or like you, if your child stutters. You Whatever. Have a kind of a program. You dial 1-800-777-TELL, and for no cost, they'll meet with you today and show you a storyboard of your new video. 1-800-777-TELL. Great videos. I've seen them. They're fabulous. Like, like if you have a clothing store, they'll do right. a clothing store video? No. If you have a clothing store and you if want to train your salespeople... They would do a gynecologist. They would make oh, a training yeah, film. Sure. Oh, that's that's funny, Richard. Okay? I'm Women's anti- private anti- parts are funny. What? Maybe to you they're a joke, but to me it's very serious. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've had it with you. 1-800-777-TEL. <laughs> Continental Airlines. There's a cow loose in here. It's Adventure Zone. <laughs> Vincent. Yes, E. Vincent. Yeah. You gotta love E. Vincent. What's E. Vincent? E. Vincent is a luggage place that is so gorgeous. Look, at, You're going to Russia, aren't you? I leave uh, October 4th for the Soviet Union to Moscow, Leningrad. Oh. I can't talk about this? No, I tell you things, you know, nothing sacred, except I think I just got you in shock when I said that one word. Would you like me to say that one word again, yes or no? You do. I'm going to kick oh, your I ass. I don't want to threat. I'm I don't want to threat. I'm going to kick your ass. I don't want oh, that Avita threat. I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> you know, I have a wife and family to think of. Hold it. Hold it. You're, you know what you are? What? You're a person who pretends to be a sensitive man. I bet you're a real skunk in real life. Howard. I bet you treat people miserably. Howard, you better apologize. I'm not. No, you're... No, 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 I'm not. Oh, now you're not. No, I'm not. After what you said about Hollywood Squares first. I haven't yes. said a word about Hollywood Squares. Not one word did I say. You're so hurtful. <laughs> <laughs> Howard, anyway, you better apologize. Mentioned... You know, you better call the florist today. That's all I'm saying. Why? With a note and flowers. Send you note and flowers? What are you? For me what are you, my home. date? What am I dating you? A note and flowers? Dear I Richard, get back last night was wonderful. Hey, hey Richard Putty, when I, get I don't send guys when, flowers. <laughs> I'm sorry. When I get home, a note there and flowers. better be five dozen long stem white roses <laughs> with an apology not... note for you. I'm not... Oh, okay. Okay. Put the nurse's <laughs> uniform back on. Maybe there I'll send you, you flowers. Again. All right. Now, listen to me. E. Vincent is so great. E. Vincent has beautiful luggage. It really does. Boy, am I angry at you. I am That's so it. angry at you. <laughs> I don't like you. That's it. Scott Shannon, here good. I go, come. Go see how funny he is. Makes you look good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, E. Vincent is so good. It beats any legitimate price on any products in their store. Now, li- listen to this. But that made no sense what I just said, I know. But that's what's written here. E. Vincent beats any legitimate price on any products in their stores. Oh, okay, that does make sense. What? Luggage, attaches, leather-bound date books, and wallets. I guess they're talking about competition. Yeah. They have Samsonite, Adiamo, American Tourist, Boyd Hartman, Lake and Ventura. I, you know, I never do this commercial justice. E. Vincent simply has the best luggage at the lowest prices. My mother shops there. God bless her. You're crying. I can't believe you're crying, Richard. Richard's crying. Why is he crying? Because he hasn't plugged his tape in the last three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now. All right, 
right, you big baby. I'm sorry, okay? Oh, boy. Now, what's the matter with you? You didn't mean that. Oh, he's crying. You didn't, you didn't mean that you said you're sorry. I said I'm sorry. No, you didn't mean it, though. Well, before I say I'm sorry, can I just check one thing? Are you circumcised? <gasps> <laughs> hey, what are you, kidding me? <laughs> you really cry. Oh, stop it, Richard. <laughs> big baby. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not. Something wrong with you, I swear to God. <laughs> there were times that you have treated me bad on this show, but this... This has been this, worse. You have been so mean to me. Thank you. And, I mean, pardon me, you have. Thank you. But you, you can make it up. You can make it up. Let's make our phone calls. What would happen if I played this again? <laughs> All right, Richard, okay. All right, stop it. Roosevelt Field Mall, Garden City, Bell Boulevard in Bayside, Walt Whitman Mall, Huntington, 58th Street and 6th Avenue, Manhattan. You and your trendy friends would like this, Richard. You're, um, because they have all the latest uh, luggage and attache cases and all the neat leather stuff. It's really good. Not that kind of leather stuff. Can we make a phone call? All right, here we go. Gary is bothering me with this mystery phone caller. Gary, do, do you, don't you think, look, can I just say something, Richard? Excuse me, but this is business. Yesterday you screwed up. You didn't give me a guest name. Okay. Today, how do you line up a show? Do you plan like Richard Simmons here, and then you have like 90 different things going on? No. I mean, when you plan a show, don't you use your brains? What is this music? Oh, it's Gary's theme music. What is this music? The Tarantella. The Tarantella. Why are we playing that? That's Gary. When Gary talks, the music comes on. Oh, it does? Yeah. Gary? Gary? Does he hurt you like... Yes, he does. No, I'm being serious. <laughs> oh, Listen, man. I want to be serious for this No, second. but let me ask you something. I came in here. You did a TV show. Clothes. He did Richard, all made this Richard, you did a videotape. He it's this, called he Richard my, Simmons He took my videotape. He sliced it. Hold he it. said horrible things. Hold it. You know, Hold it. you know that when my girlfriend dumped me, he made fun of me, and then he makes fun of my teeth, and I went and got new teeth, and he makes one of the new ones. Those are new? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that sad? <laughs> Even no, Richard. seriously? Yeah. He paid like Which thousands. Which ones are new? All of them. Look at those choppers. Don't you think they should just put the choppers in his mouth yes. and not outside of his mouth? Why did they mm -hmm. mount them? Yeah. Oh, Robin. <laughs> you know, you know, I, 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 I guarantee you something. <laughs> you and I did our own radio show. Yeah. Opposite Howard Stern. Just You'll be you off the air in a week? Wait a moment, please. Right, wait a moment. Me. Me, Take something? a ticket at Basket Robbins and wait, please. We, against him, would beat him. All right, but well, why don't you do that, Richard? No, we would just be too sensitive mm. people. It would be not Robin. making fun of people, not putting people down for their teeth, not taking their videos and slicing them, not saying horrible go things about human it. beings. Go ahead and do it. Let's I mean it. it. I well, mean go it. ahead, ma'am. We're ahead. waiting. Go ahead. We dare you. Yeah. Oh, the dare. Here they come. <laughs> hey, you talk about a workout. Gary's dentist has some workout. He lost 10 pounds carrying those caps. <laughs> are, are those caps? Those are caps, yeah. Oh. Shameful. They look so real, Richard couldn't tell. Richard no, uh, Simmons just, has written thought, a... Has, has, I just thought it was one Let place. me say something here. One place. Richard Simmons has put out a very beautiful video called Sweat into the Oldies. Gary, do you think when he put this video together, he would have tolerated like 90 different things going on at once? He was very focused. He had music, he had people Can dancing. Can I just say something? It's he didn't have people something... calling in during the dance segment. It's not something I lined up. It's something that was timely. I talked it over. All right, let's see who this is. This is somebody it's who's a mystery? Be, it's not a big guest, right. but it's timely, especially if you're going to talk about Hollywood Squares, all right? Uh, all right. right, well, there's a hint. Oh, Hollywood Squares. Hold it. Higher on the air, mystery guest. No, he's not. Hello? Hold on. For some reason, I'm having trouble. Hello? I'm having trouble. Oh, wait. Hi. Hi. You're on the air, mystery guest. Hi there. Hi there. How you doing, sir? I know you? Oh, you definitely know me. Well, I know you're not the black guy from Police Academy who spits. No, no, no. Richard, no. I thought I was supposed to sit next to you on Hollywood Squares. Don't make fun of me. I get there. Hollywood Squares. And you know the black guy from Police Academy? Yeah. He's a big man. The one who spits? Well, why do you say that? The spitting guy. Well, the one who makes all the sound effects? Oh, yeah. The, yes, he's very, <laughs> he's very clever. Michael he's very, Michael yes, Winslow. thank you, Michael. M thank you, Mr. Guest. Robbie, do you have a question for the mystery guest? Who are you? No. <laughs> yeah, that would be the easiest thing. <laughs> okay, do you do Hollywood Squares on a regular basis? I've done it. You've Have, done it. Okay. Oh, it's you, Max. <clears throat> Can I just show you a note I wrote to Jackie? <laughs> is this Max Alexander? Damn right it is. Oh, listen, oh, no Max. no wonder we didn't recognize your voice. I haven't heard from you in Wait a years. second, Robin. Hold it a second. I'm talking to Richard Simmons. I have a guest, right? Yes. Gary comes in and says he has a mystery guest. Okay? Now, listen to this. He says, I'm, I said, Gary, can't you reschedule him no, for no, tomorrow? No. Just shut up, Gary, because I'm going to kill you. Uh, I, I'm taking Gary's side because no, no, no. I was here I for that said, whole Gary, conversation. I said, Gary, can't you reschedule the mystery guest? Right. He says, I don't think I can get this guy for tomorrow because it's a, it's a three-hour time difference. Uh -huh. So I'm thinking, okay, it's somebody major. 
It's a major player. Right. Sure. Gary goes, no, 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 it's, it's just, you know, something of a... You couldn't get Max tomorrow. You don't think Max would have been dying to come on the show tomorrow? At 5 o'clock in the morning, no. And Yom Kippur, and, tomorrow's Yom Kippur. Oh, what about Thursday? You wouldn't have come on the show? Howard, can I just ask you a question? Guys, Max, why bother celebrating Yom Kippur when you're a Jew who... Ch how is your morning going? I'm glad you're here, because well, Max is starring in the new movie. By the way, I saw the movie yesterday. That's what I heard. I got six calls already saying, call Howard. They're talking about you, and somebody there is jealous. Max, well, Jackie, of course. Max <laughs> is a comedian that we knew. He was on our show for many years. Yeah. He went out to California to find himself. Uh -huh. And before we knew it, yeah, he's no, now no. in the movie with... Uh, Sally Field. And Punchline. 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 Max is the big fat guy who isn't that funny. I think you were very good. And he's brilliant in it. I think I think the movie is great. And oh, you I saw think, it? Yeah. What did you think of Max? I thought Max was excellent. So we're Absolutely kind of proud of excellent. Max because everyone thought Max would just go out there and, and die of a heart attack <laughs> and we'd never hear from him again. I would like Max to start eating better. I am eating better. <laughs> Why? Why? Max is having a lot of success being yeah, overweight. He's no, be cut it out. Even Max said to me, one time Max was feeling real sick Don't from being Don't say fat. this. Don't say it. No, I'm being serious. <laughs> Max was real, you know, sick from being overweight. Remember Max before you left? Absolutely. And he said to me, I guess I got to lose a little weight, but I don't want to lose all my weight. That's why people, you know, that's part of my act. Max, you can't lose Max, weight. Max, Max. Max, yeah. don't lose Max, weight. Don't, don't listen to this. That. No, I don't believe it anymore. Good. Because what? you know, you know... As we're, we're going to talk to two people today who have both lost over 500 pounds, and you will know that if you have too much excess weight, it's the worst thing for your body, it's the worst thing for your heart, for your lungs, for everything. Max is glad he gets back on our show and he gets a lecture from Richard Simmons on his way. It's not really a lecture. I was trying to. I was just trying to give him a little guidance. Max ate for breakfast what you've eaten all year so far. Now leave Max alone. He likes to eat. Richard, that's a great idea with that new tape. Thank you very much. Tape is wonderful. Hey, I saw you on Hollywood Squares, Max. So you also. How'd you see How'd me? How'd you see him? Well, the tape got passed around to a lot of people, Howard. A lot of people. No, did it air already? No. Oh, it's very big. No. It's airing on Monday. It people hasn't. People are talking about it. Well, parts are going to air. They're, they did some editing. Yeah, so I heard. Oh, you did hear about this? Yeah. They're a bunch of jerk-off dick bastards. Stop it. Stop it. No, stop Hollywood it. Squares is a bunch of jerk-offs. Stop it. Stop it. Stop show. it. Come on, stop. Why, they never having me on again? I, That's know, what you said. I never said that. Max, I want to ask you a question. Sure, darling. Can I call you on Thursday? You can call me anytime you want. All right, because I do want to talk to you. Okay. But Richard Simmons has got an agenda here a mile long. I just wanted to know if you wanted to come to the preview party, the premiere of Punchline. Of course. Friday. Oh, he doesn't go anyplace. He's promised me to be Where is involved. this, in California? He's promised me everything. He never shows up. Don't where even where is it. this, in California? At the Chinese Theater, <coughs> then we're having a big party afterwards. Yeah, Max, I'll fly out. It's going to be taped for HBO. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Tom Hanks a good guy? He's terrific. Because he was in the Steve Martin movie, too. Roxanne. Roxanne, but they didn't give him a speaking part. He just would walk around in a fireman's outfit. Who? Max. Max. Oh, Max. And then they had Max on Hollywood Squares. I got a lot to talk to you about, but I can't do it while Richard's here. All right, brother. I'll leave. All right. Max. Okay. No, you stay with me. No, no, Max. It's all right. Max. I just want to wish you have a good year. All right. You too. And I'll call you on Thursday. You got it. Right. Bye, Max. Bye, guys. Max Alexander, ladies and gentlemen. Isn't he? This is the guy you told was the producer. You gave him that title, producer. Yeah. I, I, no, by the way, he's stripped. You complain. By the way, he's stripped of the title, producer. John is now the producer. I do not want to hear The you one who wrote the Jew Boy Howard. Coon song. Howard. <laughs> yeah. Richard, let's get back to what you were doing. It's a phone call. Yes. Let's call. Let's Rich oh, she ate nine of them. <laughs> Go ahead. The telephone What's number the to number? call is... 718 Roselli. 718 Roselli. R-O-S-E-L-L-I. S-E-L-L-I. -L -L yeah. The R is capitalized. All right, but it's on the phone. We did 60 seconds. It's fine. Oh, okay. All right, 952 WYSP. Richard what does Richard have on his head? A Sixers cap. Yeah, we gave him that. I had a wonderful time, guys. I hope you all have a, a good week. And I'm going back to L.A. and, and so I had all you your, all. So and, had all your friends in your and, Hollywood Square. When are you doing just, Hollywood Squares again? We're, we're uh, from Russia. I go directly. I think you're going to be there. Have Where? I asked you? What, Hollywood Squares? Yeah, we're going to the Bahamas. Um, no, they haven't asked me. Very cute. Who are you gonna, who are you on with the last time, by the way? Who are you sitting next to? Um, I was in a c corner, uh, the bottom right hand corner. Oh, you were in the bottom right. That's oh, you know who was in that when I was on? Who? Doctor Joyce Brothers. Oh, I like. She Dr. is Joyce. like brain dead. Anyway, shadow, shadow, <laughs> shadow. Anyway, we're going to the Bahamas right after I go to Russia. Uh, we're doing uh, uh, two weeks of shows there. What do they pay you? Just scale for that? Or no, no. They pay you more than scale. Oh, 
I had a fight with them to get scale. Did you? No, they really liked you. They did. did they? They, thought, they thought you were funny. They thought you were. Are they gonna have me on again? Very clever. I have to go now. I don't want to be on again. You can tell them. Oh, you do. You. Would. I don't. If they called you tomorrow, you'd want to be on with the fun show. Possibly. Bye, Howard. <laughs> Give me a little. All right. Take oh, care. Do we have to hug again? All right. It's been entirely me, too Rob. much love in yeah. this studio. Give my love. love. Give my love to your wife, and your kids. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and take a shower. Jeez. God. He's getting on the plane like that. Are you gonna Are you gonna get on the plane like that? Are you gonna shower? Are you gonna bathe, <laughs> oh, Richard? Oh no. no. Yeah, he always wants to show me his butt. Oh dear. Thank Richard. It's a pleasure <laughs> always. Oh, get away. <laughs> Grab his genitals, Robin. See what he does. Quick. Let me see him. Stop it. Do it. Do it. Grab it. He can, He has me all wrapped up. I don't. Right, as soon as he lets go, right. go, grab it. Grab his. Clean. <laughs> see what he does. I want to see what happens when you grab it. Thank you, Richard. Goodbye. <laughs> 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 All right. What do you do, moon you? Yes. <laughs> nice butt. See you, Richard. Good guy. That was the longest he ever hung out. I'm telling you. He must have an extra special good time. <laughs> Robin, let's finish up the news. Yes, please. Chào các mọi người, và hôm nay bên em lại về một chiếc xe VinFast Fabin Xe thương hiệu của Việt Nam Sản xuất 2020, bản 1.4 rồi Xe này là bản mạnh nhất phân khúc rồi 1.4 rất là khỏe nhé Xe là màu đỏ và Con này thì cũng Đã tham gia Giải nhất nhì của cuộc thi bơi nội rồi Cách đây 4 năm tháng trước Đấy Tuy nhiên là trước khi báo giá thì cũng như là thì em sẽ quay tổng thể chiếc xe 